Hi everyone. Not yet. I think we have to go that way, don't we? We have no choice but to go that way. Oh. Hi everyone. Sorry, we're a little bit late. Technical issues, let's say. Um, one day I will understand Facebook, <laughs> but not yet. Um, however, thanks for joining along. I appreciate it's probably a bit of a me or Strictly, is Strictly on yet? Um, but thanks for joining me anyway. So this is what we're going to talk about today. If you've been following along on my page, you'll see that I've been doing these bedside cabinets, a pair of bedside cabinets, and that I did some of my own artwork um, to, to paint on them. And I asked you, I had a pink and a blue, and I asked which you prefer, and you all, the majority anyway, said the blue. So I have used the technique that I'm going to talk about today to put this, this on here because the original artwork is still here. This is the original artwork. So you can see I haven't stuck the original on, I've transferred it on and that's the method we're going to be talking about today. Looks very pretty, doesn't it, I think. So that's that's that. That's what we're aiming for. Nancy McLean has joined you. Hello Nancy, thank you very much. Where are you from? And Lorraine Spence. Oh Lorraine, hello Lorraine. And Royce Hunt is waving. <laughs> yeah, Royce! <laughs> Having a road trip today, Royce is, and watching me while travelling. Right, so this is the door of the other bedside cabinet, the repair. So obviously I want, want it to match. <laughs> so the original would go like that. But with this method, you have to print in reverse. It will come out the reverse as the, uh, as the original artwork. So, this is the original artwork. So what you do is, in the days, of the, these days, IODs are so popular and I can understand that. They are really, really brilliant things that they, they make transfers accessible for everyone. Um, and it just brings some pieces alive. The only problem that I have with IOD is that I'm being told what I can have. Obviously they can't print everything in the world. That would just be stupid. Um, but they're telling, you know, that they've only got so much, so many things. And so as you travel around looking at other people's finished furniture, you do see the, the, the Gypsy Queen in particular, you see that quite often. And it sort of takes away from the uniqueness of the piece, doesn't it? With this method, you can transfer whatever it is you want. You can transfer a, a photograph, um, any, anything. Um, and in fact, later on I'll show you that I am going to transfer this little photograph of me when I was three with my little tartan dress on. I am Scottish, so I'm allowed to wear tartan. And I think by the looks of it, it's a jumper that my mum must have knit. And so it's a sweet little picture. Um, I wasn't thin even then, was I really? So, um, But you'll see later on what I've done with that and how we're going to, to do that. But it might be somebody's wedding photographs it might be a new baby anything it, or as in my case just a, a piece of artwork that you want to use more than once and you've only got one piece of artwork with this you could print off lots and lots and lots of images of it you've got loads to go with so those are the originals we will be putting the transfer onto the what's up Bobby maybe he just wants to join in I don't know um, and I'm going to put my little photograph 
onto this little um, plaque, MDF plaque, that I've painted cream. So, the decals themselves. These are they. They look like an ordinary piece of sort of acetate to me. Um, Kerry Betts from Australia watching. Oh, Kerry Betts from Australia. Gosh, is it not the middle of the night or something? Oh, it might be early morning. Anyway, this is a piece of ordinary looking acetate, but I don't think it is quite ordinary. Um, I think it's got two distinct sides to it, and it's marked with a little red arrow. I don't know if you can see that down the bottom there, Mr. Cameraman. You see the little red arrow down the bottom? Go keep him on his toes, you know. Right, now with this particular paper, and I'll tell you where to get it shortly, this red arrow has to be the side that you print onto. Now I know some printers go straight down and out, some go round. My laser printer goes like a snake, round and round and round. Um, but make sure that you've worked out which how it goes in your printer and that the red arrow is going to be on the side that the the transfer is going to be on. Well, the hair there, I'll turn the other side. Um, they're not the cheapest of things, these. And so for the, for the purposes of this, I actually wanted to fill my paper up. Kerry says it's 5am. 5am Kerry! Get to bed lass! So you see I didn't want to waste any paper so I've actually put put this picture of me in. I'm not going to put it onto the door, don't worry I'll cut it out later and it's as I say it's going to go onto this. Um, but it's it's not cheap and you will want to use every square inch if you possibly can. So that's the paper. That's the printing on the paper. And so, with the printed side up, which is the arrow side facing, you get your second piece of paper. And I should actually say at this point that I, I bought five pieces of this, of this paper just to see if it worked really. Um, and the first three pieces didn't work and I, I just thought I've been conned it doesn't work something I'm doing wrong and we went through it and through it and through it and in the end I said well maybe it's the laser maybe it doesn't like the laser printer we'll print it on the inkjet and we did and it worked a charm but I've only managed <laughs> the first three sheets were a no-go because they were out the laser the next sheet was the sh the design that you saw and this is the fifth sheet and if this doesn't work well we're going to have to have a dance or something to fill the time in because I haven't got any more paper. Sharon Cowell says hello. Hi Sharon. And Carrie Ann Leighton gives you a thumbs up. Oh. And Dorothy Smith hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> right are you watching? Mr Cameraman are you, are you, are you sorted? So this has got um, the, the yellow which is the back end and it's carrying a sheet which is sticky so peel it off which which I must say isn't the easiest thing to do in the world that's it right and I think it's probably best to go at it bit by bit so make sure you've got your arrow facing up, facing towards you, because that's the side that's got the print on. And then we just start by putting this over the... Yikes. Over the other piece. I'm not sure that's exactly square, but... And then as you work your way down, just press it as you go.
Right. Georgia it... B. Owen says, I'm late, but I'm here. <laughs> you're late, you're late for a very important Better date. Better late than never. Yeah, absolutely. Better late than never. I'll go over it all again anyway. Um, but once you've got your sticky paper, sticky clear stuff on top of the printed bit, just take a ruler. I, I did try a metal ruler, but I, I thought it was biting in a bit. So I'm just going to use this plastic ruler and just go down it just to make sure that everything's adhered. So I'm, I'm pushing quite hard. Just go down the whole length of it. That should be it. So, should we just go through what we've done already for the people who've just joined? Yes. We, this dry rub decal transfer technique that we're doing, it comes in two pieces of, of acetate -y stuff. The first one is the one that you print out onto and I would recommend using an inkjet printer. I tried my laser printer and it didn't work. The, the ink wouldn't release from it. So use an inkjet printer, but don't you don't go to use it straight away. Either dry it with a hairdryer for a couple of minutes, or I leave mine for about, I leave mine like I've done it a hundred times. I left the original one for about three quarters of an hour just to dry completely. And then put this, um, the second sheet that you get, which is, um, a sticky acetate and it comes on uh, in my particular one comes on this yellow paper and you peel it off and stick the sticky side down onto the side with the red arrow the side where the print is okay so what we need to do now is cut around it uh, I need to see where where to cut it's not easy I'm just going to do the little one of me in the little tartan dress first while I work up to doing the big one. <laughs> Elaine Eddington Wood says hello. Hello Elaine. And Sonia Hansen also says she's late. She had a difficult time finding us. Oh and sorry. Thank you for sharing your talents. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen it yet. That's right. <laughs> up with the dog I think he wants to join in right so I've cut I've still got my original you know the bit that I really want to do for on here but this is the little one of me another thing you need to reverse it it's like all transfers if you've got any uh, text or anything like that it needs to be to be reversed because it's going to come out backwards I'll go through it all again because I know there's a lot of information I'm firing at you here. Um, so th this is it. This is the, the, the print of me. Little tartan dress and it's got it's been printed and then it's had the sticky sheet attached to the top. And this is just an add-on if you like. It's just because in the in the sheet that I did for the door, there was enough space up here to add something else. And I'd, it's quite expensive, so I thought I'll do something with it. So now, at this stage, you need to peel the sticky bit off. Bob Berichek says hello. Hi. Excuse the pronunciation. <laughs> so, is that me the right way around? Or is that me the right way around? That's me the right way around, I think. Where's your picture? Yeah, where is my picture? Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. So I need it to be, that's right, isn't it, there. So I need to peel off. Your left hand. Once you get it, once you get it going, you can easily tell what you need to peel off because one's, one's sticky and one isn't. So just peel it off. Go quite gently. I'm not sure how, how robust this is. Um, so just go quite gently. There we go. So that's 
So now I've got the, the ink on this piece and I'm just going to place it on my little plaque. Just kind of guess where I'm going with it, about there perhaps. And then smooth it down so it's actually sticking. Then you need something, I know IOD uh, have little little tools that they use, um, a teaspoon would do, in this case it's a wooden spoon, nothing sharp because I fear that you might tear the, the acetate. So then you just really start rubbing and for anybody that's used IODs, this is a familiar part of the technique. So we'll start at the top. And after a while, you just need to see if it's if it's coming off. It doesn't feel like it is yet. I don't know how many of you watched Paula with a paint and a pint the day that she put the IOD on the turquoise dresser. <laughs> she was toning those bingo bingo wings up that day. Yeah, and I'm going for it tonight. George B. Owen says, oh my God, I can't wait to try this. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Well, I'm saying it's brilliant. I haven't got the back off yet. The one I did earlier didn't need this much rubbing. That sounds like it's coming loose down there. coming off that's it so I would recommend same with IODs that as you pull off just go with your spoon or your implement whatever and just rub where you're pulling it off yay wow I'm just gonna get a bit of tissue and just wipe it down. Georgia B. Owen says it's printer is best. My short term memory deleted that. Inkjet Georgia, it didn't work with me with the, um, with the laser. I tried three pieces of stuff through it getting more and more frustrating it just didn't work so the inkjet is the best but either dry it with a hair dryer afterwards or leave it to air dry for about three quarters of an hour so there we go georgia play check oh, <laughs> Good hello <pronouncing>. georgia i <laughs> uh, would like to know uh, how much the sheets are please. i shall tell you now but i'm just going to revel in this <laughs> This was the original photograph. I didn't want to lose this photograph. I mean, I'm, I'm 58 now and I think I was about three. It looks like I was about three. So it's, you know, it's 55 years old, this photo, and I don't want to chop it up and put decoupage gel on it and stuff. But I put it in Photoshop, had a little play with it. And I, I, liked, I liked that image. I thought it looked nice and modern for all. It's, it's a very old photo. Um, and so now you can see it's on there. What I will do to finish it, though, is put a coat of polyvine um, wax finish varnish over it. Sorry for the judder with the camera there. <laughs> um, it, it's, it doesn't need a lot to protect it. It is a plastic film, but I think it will need something. Um, and so I'm going to use polyvine wax finish varnish, which gives quite a nice low luster um, waxy feel to it really. And for the piece that I'm doing, the, the, the door of the bedside cabinet, I think that's what we need really because the rest of the piece has been waxed. So I don't want the door to stand out as being really, really glossy or anything. 
So I recommend I recommend the polyvine thingy, wax varnish. Right. How Royce much? would like to know is it shiny? Yes, it is. But once you put the polyvine mat, the the polyvine wax finish varnish on it, you lose the shininess. It just all takes on a an equal sheen. So yeah, I know what you're saying. It, it you know, it's shiny and it looks like something just stuck on there. But th this really does help. So that's that. Now somebody wants to know how much they are. How organised am I? Here you go. Here's where to buy them from, and here's how much they are. Yeah. So in America, they're from Sunny Scoper. And five sheets for $13.99. In the UK, they're from Mr. Deckel Paper. Sorry, I'm reading it through. Mr. Deckel Paper uk, and the five sheets for eleven ninety seven. Which, as I say, I wasted three of my sheets because I didn't know I couldn't put them through the laser. So I was royally miffed. I really was. Which has left me just with the one that you saw that I'd done and and this one and when I printed this one I was hoping against hope it was going to work because I knew I had this live coming up so you got that guys I'll show you it again later so that brings us on to it's quite cute that isn't it I mean if you had a new baby in the house or or something and you wanted to put it on the side of a little basket or something you know it's just it's cute so now down to the business at hand they are a4 and I've just contacted the chap and asked if he does a3 I know these are British sizes um, so I'm sorry for anybody in America um, but the you know the A3 is a nice size and I think you could get you could make them beautiful you really could uh, so I I haven't had any response from him yet but I have asked about getting A3 because I've got an A3 inkjet printer um, and I think you could do some lovely stuff. Debbie Erickson Long says hi from Pennsylvania, U.S. of A. Hi, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's just, it's a it's a whole world that comes together to share talents. It, it's it's not like any other world I know. You know, people aren't protective over what they learn. They want to share it. And I want to share this because I just think it's, 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 it's a fabulous technique. So, right, same again. We need to peel off. No, that's not true. I need to cut it out. I need to cut it out. Patrice Le Darlington, watching from British Columbia, Canada. Wow. Is it cold there with you, Patrice? And Candy Adams Olguin says hi from Texas. Oh, I want to go to Texas. I want to go to a, a regular, normal local honky-tonk that's what i want to do where they play really good country music because that's my favorite that's what's on in the workshop every day country music and i sing along to it honestly i'm so loud and royce wants to know what your cameraman's doing to the dog it's the dog is <laughs> is I don't know what's up with him. He's got a toy of his and he's he's like trying to kill it. He's behaving himself now he's trying to film me. Mm -hmm. Candy says she has an extra bedroom. Oh we could talk. Painted furniture forever. We could stay up all night talking about techniques and stuff. And country music. And country music, yeah. 
Do they really exist? <laughs> honky- what, Americans? <laughs> no, no Americans <laughs> exist. I mean, like, honky-tonks, like I have in my mind, where, where country music people just stand up and play. Do they really exist? Or, or not? <laughs> have I just been watching too many TV programmes? Geraldine Paul Atkinson, watching from Munchie. Munchie? I N. Which is. N I N. Indiana. Indiana, yeah. <laughs> Who's um, your favourite country artist? Dwight Yoakam. Dwight Yoakam. I mean, come on. Steve Earle. Yeah, I go and see Steve Earle quite a lot. He comes over here to Northern England, where I am. And so I've, I've seen more of Steve Earle than any, anybody else. But uh, I was lucky enough a couple of years ago to catch Dwight Yoakam. He was doing a, con- a, well, a concert tour, I suppose. And uh, so I got to see him. But, you know, he's knocking on a bit now. But anyway, I have seen him. Who's your favourite? Everybody who doesn't like country music is going, oh my goodness, what are they on about? Debbie Erickson Long says, come to Pennsylvania Dutch country. I have an extra bedroom as well. I'd love <laughs> to. I'd love to. Oh, you lot are so generous. You'd die, wouldn't you, if I turned up actually on your doorstep. <laughs> Hello, Miss Painter lot here. I believe you have a spare bedroom for me. Nearly there, guys. So don't worry, we'll get in there. So does everybody remember what I've done? No. Thumbs up from Becky Davenport. <laughs> see, you want, see that bit there? If you really were minded, you could have got something else in there to transfer. I mean, the price of these sheets, you really need to be getting everything you can out of them. Mm. I mean, I was... I was Not topper. A knob topper, yes, you could. That's quite right. That's a, a knob as in a drawer handle. Okay. Knob topper. I knew this would go downhill. Oh, it's blooming does. Roy Sump says, uh, country music isn't the first pick, but she likes Garth Brooks. Yeah, Garth Brooks. He's so rich. But he did retire to bring his kids up, and that I applaud that. Back now again, I believe. Right, so no, that's not right. This is going this way. And there, at this point, because I've cut the arrow off and everything, there is absolutely nothing to tell you which is which is right and which is wrong. But as soon as you start to peel it off, you'll feel that one piece is tacky and one piece isn't, and it's the tacky side with with the print on that we want. Okay. Let's start up here. If I can. Do you think it's a it's a technique that that you would, you collectively would like to try? You know, bearing in mind that you can't actually put anything you want on it, anything at all. I mean, you know. Yeah, you could print out a load of knob toppers if you wanted to. A whole sheet of them. And, you know, they'd see through probably many pieces of furniture. Right, so I've started to peel this off. One side, this side, is sticky. The other side isn't. It's got no stick on it at all. And the sticky side, you'll see, has got the ink on. It's got the print on. So just as we did before, just going to remove this. I don't, I don't think the print's going to come off, but I'm, I'm not terribly familiar with it, so I'm just going to go gently. It doesn't seem to want to come off um, that print at all. It seems very well stuck, to be honest. Jackie Holmes Dunlap says, sorry she came in late. What kind of paper are you using and what process did you use to get the picture? <laughs> so we'll, we'll have a recap. We'll have a recap. We'll have a recap afterwards. Have you all got inkjet printers? 
I mean, they are they are slightly more uh, inexpensive than than laser printers. I bought a laser printer because I wanted to to do traditional transfers and decoupage, um, but for this you need an inkjet printer. Don't waste your money like I did printing it out on a laser. I just I ruined three sheets of it. I'm heartbroken about it actually. Because if, if I hadn't, I would have had another sheet to demonstrate to you. I'm making this look a bit cack-handed, really. It's not. It's just... You are cack-handed. I, I am a bit cack-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how that translates. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that translates. But the other thing that I would say to you is, don't put rub-offs in your browser. Just don't. Take it from me. There we go. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck to it. Now we know you can't stick to it. I really stuck to it. No. <laughs> I really stuck. <laughs> oh no, I'm really, really, really stuck. Which 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 one are you trying to get off? Any or either all. Glory. Okay. What can I do? Oh, no, no, put my hand down on it. Oh, I'm tearing it. <laughs> this has turned into the sort of live you love, hasn't it? It's just gone horribly wrong. Touching it too much. Oh. Right, let this be a lesson to you. Don't touch the Don't paper. On there. Get a bit of card. Yeah. Well, I'm obviously not going to get my drawers finished tonight. My dressing thing, bedside cabinet. So I don't want to put that on there because it's I've messed it up big time. So I'll put it onto, onto this. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. But, you know, that's the lesson. Don't put your fingers on it. It is so, so sticky. Let's move that out of the way so you can even see what's going on. I think we won't have any problem getting the back off because it was wanting to... Well, he says, so dot dot dot, don't touch the ink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't touch the ink. Yeah. Honestly, who would believe that... It I just got myself in such a muddle with that ink. And Candy says it's so nice to have a helping hand. I'm not sure it was much of a help. <laughs> well, it was truly stuck to it. It was like a fly to fly paper, which could not get off it. So let that be, you know, a really good lesson to you. Don't touch the ink. Is that not why we do lives? So we can have a laugh secretly. Mm. That's just, as we'd say here, buggered. I 
bits that I didn't touch are great, but unfortunately I touched way too much. You can send ha-ha faces if you want. I can take it. See, this is the problem with only having done one before I go live. I'm not aware of all these problems. I've got ink on all sides now, which is not helping. So, right, so now you see what exactly goes wrong when you've got, when you touch the ink. You can see it's, it's, it's come out, you know, parts of it are still lovely. But honestly, all I had was my nails on the ink and it just stuck. And I couldn't, I, I couldn't get myself off. I've never known the likes of it. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Um, so you, you can see anyway that it obviously was going to be similar to the one that, uh, that I'd already done. Just bear in mind all the things that go wrong for me and then they won't go wrong for you. This is the original artwork that I did, I painted and I thought, I did a pink one as well. And I asked on my page which which colour you liked best. And the majority of people went for the blue. So I wanted to try this dry rub decals. And I thought that would be a good thing to, to try it on. Because I could get one this way and print the other out in reverse. And it would all be hunky-dory. Didn't quite happen, but nearly. So... The process is that you get two sheets of, of clear acetate. It's called dry rub off transfer. Decal. Yeah, dry rub off decal transfer. Dry rub off decal transfer. Okay, so you get two sheets of paper, you get one that's got, in one of the corners, it's got a tiny little red arrow on it. Can't actually see that piece. Yeah, there, there it is. So one of the sheets have got, has got this, this tiny little red arrow on it. And you must do it so as your printer is going to print on the side with the arrow on. The other side, it's just a, a circle with nothing on. So work out how your printer works. If it flips it over to print on, or if it just slides it straight through, whatever. But make sure you know that it's going to print on the side with the red arrow. And then, and oh, and if you want um, to do text or um, just little, like this little photograph of me that, that I did, reverse it because it's going to come out in reverse. It will come out in reverse. So having printed it on your inkjet, leave it on that paper, just print it out, leave it alone for about three quarters of an hour. Um, it, the instructions do say that you can use a hairdryer. I haven't tried that, so I can't, I can't say I'm sure it would work because it would dry it. But I left mine for about three quarters of an hour. Then the next thing you do is you take part two, which comes in mine, it's attached to a carrier sheet. So you peel it off and it's sticky on one side and you put that over the print that you've just done. Put that down over and squash it with the ruler, pushing fairly firmly, but not ridiculously hard, just fairly firmly. I tried a metal ruler and it felt like it was biting in a bit into the acetate so I think um, a plastic ruler is better. To be honest I think you could probably do it with your, with your fingers but just to be sure I did it with a ruler and I squashed it all down. Then you need to cut out the, the shape of your artwork, it goes that way doesn't it? Yeah. 
so cut cut that out of the what is now the two pieces of acetate which are stuck together with the print in the middle so what, having got it cut out you then need to peel one side off and it's very obvious once you start to peel them that one side is not sticky at all and the other side is very very sticky folks really and the ink is stuck onto the, the sticky side. So you pull that off gently and all your ink will be on here. Now here's where I went wrong. So don't do the same, you know, learn from my mistakes, please. You put that, bearing in mind this has got your picture on it here. So you, you put it down, take a tool of your choice, what a, you know, wooden spoon, lollipop stick, so something like that. Not, not anything really hard. And just rub it and the, the print will come off onto your, onto your paper. Joanne yeah. Baker says good morning from Australia. Good morning. It must be about six o'clock or something there. Um, good morning. Hope you have a lovely day. Um, the problem I had was that the, the inky part, the inky film, was sticky as yeah it was it was that sticky and i held it like that and it literally stuck to my fingers so be really careful we, i mean we didn't have this problem with this one yeah the cat and the dog <laughs> the cat's just like oh i've seen all this before yeah, I, d I didn't have this problem with this one because as I was taking it off, I was rubbing like that and peeling it off. Yeah, it's much smaller. And yeah, it is smaller, easier to deal with. So for those of you that haven't seen, that's the picture of me when I was three with my little tartan dress on because I'm Scottish. Um, and I really like the picture. I don't want to spoil it by decoupaging it onto something. So what I did with it was scan it in. Now, most printers, a lot of printers have got a scanning part to them. So scan your image in, get it into a document, and then from that document, send it to your inkjet printer reversing it if you want to see it the right way around it's a lot of information here isn't it photoshop. yeah i mean photoshop's great if you you know that that's how i that's what i did that on i um scanned it into photoshop and then just messed around with it a little bit till i got a, an image that i liked a more modern image of me at three um uh, i quite like that i might hang that up somewhere actually uh, the only thing that I would say to you is keep your fingers off off that inky film because it's it's just glue. It's just look look what it made me do go wrong. I mean you can see parts of it here are pretty good, but you can see here where it's just it's just lifted off. I mean that is stuck. That is stuck forever. So I can tell you on your piece of furniture or whatever. But don't be put off by this stupidity. That's, you know, that's just me. And it's it's always different when you're doing a live as well, to be honest. Um, there is a certain amount of stress involved in it. So having applied that to your piece of furniture and you're all happy with it because you didn't do what I did and it's looking great like the one there. Look at that, it's lovely. Just to prove that I can actually do it. <laughs> so having having got it stuck on, you will notice as Royce said, it's it's shiny. The film is actually shiny. Can you I don't know if you can see that glinting. But it is shiny. And it just looks like something that's been stuck on, and that's not a look we're going for. Yeah. It, it is shiny, take it from me. So in, in order to get around that 
it's just something you've stuck on look i use the the polyvine wax finish varnish it's um it's not ultra shiny it's, it's, it has a sheen but it's not ultra shiny but if you paint the whole piece in my case with the furniture i painted the whole that whole panel of the door uh, in the varnish over the top of the decor then it just evens it all out and you can't actually it doesn't look shiny anymore um it just it it looks great and it's you know what a way to get two of these onto onto my bedside <laughs> well not this one obviously i'm gonna have to order some more and then do it um onto my bedside cabinets you can get it in a3 um where I get it from, they were out of stock, so I've contacted him to ask him if I can have some A3. And this is where it's available from. In, I'm sorry, you Australian guys. I'm really sorry. I wasn't expecting anyone from Australia. Um, but it's called Dry Rub Decal Transfer Paper. And these are this is where it's available in America and the UK. Um, it might be available on Amazon in, in Australia, um, but it's called Dry Rub Decal Transfer Paper. And you can see the prices there, so it's not something you want to waste. So out of my pack of five, I pretty much wasted four, apart from that, um, and I've got one. But most of that was because I put it through my laser printer and it doesn't work. Don't put it through your laser. It seems to embed it and you can't get the ink off. Put it through your uh, ink shot. Kira Foster says hello. Patrice Darlington says beautiful. And Debbie Erickson Long said you did wonderfully. Oh, that's really nice. Hi, Fiona. I know, you, I know you've got a cold, so thanks for making the effort. I really appreciate it. Um, and thanks for the other people bolstering my confidence when I've quite obviously made a mess. The video will be on your page. Yeah, this... Now oh, now we've got a cat. It's like a madhouse. Um, the, the video will be on my page if you want to watch it again afterwards and see what I did, where I went wrong, where I went right, and how you can do it and get it right. Because what a fantastic way of transferring images. It really is. It's dry. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's dry. Do. So if you want to put something on chalk paint... You know the way ordinary transfers you're rubbing and you're rubbing and you're rubbing with with chalk paint and chalk paints will dissolve in water so you carry on rubbing like that and you know you haven't got any any paint around it this is dry i mean you could put it on on anything you could you know put it on last week i was showing you all some trucks that i'd that i'd done I mean, it would look great on there with a, a baby's name and then you could fill the truck full of talcum powder and whatever you give babies. Um, I can't think of anything else that you need to know. Really, really sorry that I messed up. It's entirely my fault. I hope you've got the, the gist of it and I hope you give it a try. I mean, maybe if you've got a friend, you could, you know, you could order some and share the cost. But my main things to tell you is um, reverse the image if it's a picture of someone or you've got text on it. Print it out on an inkjet printer, not a laser. That's it. It's, it's plain sailing from there, really. What is it like next time? Yeah, next time. Next time we're going wet. <laughs> this is the dry rub decal transfers. And next time we're using water slide decal transfers. They're great as well, but by, you know, as the name tells you, you need a bit of water involved in that. So if you'd like to see me trying my hardest not to make a mess of water slide decals, then join me next week if I've recovered from this one and uh, we'll have a look at water slide decals. I can't thank you enough for joining me and being so kind to me when it's obviously <laughs> hasn't worked very well. Um, but I, I will order some more. I'll print this off. I bet you it goes on like a dream when nobody's watching me. And uh, just once again, thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks very much.
see you next week hopefully don't forget you can watch this video back if you if you need to thanks a lot bye guys bye